I've never seen it this dry. I mean, you're talking, um, what someone else said the other day, you know, 11 inches in 12 months, and most of that rain was this time last year. So there's fellas that, you know, got rain and chevied a while ago and gone into double figures. It'll be the first time I've hit double figures since, you know, maybe December last year. Someone said the other day, 11 inches of rain in the last 11 months. They're, they're talking El Nino, what, whatever one it is, still carrying on through till, you know, maybe next year. Sam and I just sat down one day and we thought we need to do something for our clients. I suppose it's all about going the extra mile. So we came up with a feed drive idea of, of getting hay up in, or baleage or, or barley up into our area and just help these fellas out. You know, we're a cooperative and we've got farmer partners throughout the, New Zealand and we just thought we'll put something out there and, and see what we can come up with to, to help our, our farming partners. No, thanks a lot Bryce, much appreciated. Cool. Go to good use. Very good. Yeah. It's been donated. Sam and I have got to sit down and distribute it out and, and get it to farmers really. The, the transport operators have been, like Dave's been brilliant. You know, it's not cheap to pick a, a, a unit load of hay up and bring it up to North Canterbury. Because you can't, nothing's getting backloaded. Hopefully I can put a bit of fuel his way and a bit of product, so give him a box of um, lovely tenderised silver fern farm beef <laughs> and, and that'll make him smile and come back next time, yeah. A lot of fellas have destocked, got ewes out on grazing, I think Cheviot has got 60,000 ewes on grazing. You know, on the other side of the Waitaki, ran fairly down through there, um, another probably 40,000 Scargill Valley hardened, so you're talking 100,000 ewes out of the area and that's probably costing a lot of money. You know, these fellas are looking at, even before they start making money next year, they're gonna be 150, 200,000 dollars down just to feed these ewes. And the ewes have gotta come back and lamb. So what do they lamb on? You know, it's, it's gonna be hard work. I mean, here we are today, standing at hard with a lovely blue sky and it's probably four or five degrees and the Northwest is howling. It's, nothing's growing. We'll let you get on your way. <laughs> Turn into the sheep shit. Go and feed the old girls and yeah, make them yeah. smile for a day. <laughs>